I don't know. Um, so it's video today. Uh, out of the torture and stuff, you know, these directed energy weapons, it's actually make my heart beat up to 210 at rest. So if I'm just sitting home, my heartbeat is 200 per minute. 210 per minute. Do you know what that mean? Do you know what that mean? When somebody is just sitting, sitting on, the, on the couch and he gets at his heartbeat at 210 per minute, do you know what that mean? That's why I'm telling you those people are murderers, you know? That's what, what, that's what I'm saying from the whole fucking beginning. That they are murderers, that they are killers. You know, if they cannot get the... Okay, I will tell you how this actually just, you know... Let me just explain briefly, you know, how those motherfuckers work. You know, just, just a little briefly, you know. Now, let's say, they at the beginning, they tried to, to just get me to sell drugs. It couldn't work. They tried to get me to do drugs. It didn't work. They tried to, you know, get me... Went to a um, um, bad situation by blackmailing me. It didn't work. You know, they tried to make me work illegal. It didn't work. You see? So that's at the beginning. So I tried to make me sell drugs. Tried to make me work illegal. Tried to make me this. Tried to make me that. It didn't work. Nothing have worked with me. When they noticed that, okay, well, we cannot get this guy to commit a crime. You see, at the beginning, it was more like, you know, trying to get me to commit a crime. You know, so that they get the right to just, you know, control me into, you know, the uh, the system, you know, or just put me in jail or mental institution, whatever the fuck they did. Anyways, it didn't work, okay? So, when this didn't work, they just started to go with something else, okay? Well, this guy is crazy, you know? When the government, that, that's the best thing that I actually learned about how the, the Norwegian government and the European governments work. When they cannot get the person to commit a crime, they just, you know, they just want this guy, okay? I'm telling you, I am being targeted since 19 and 20 or 20 years of age. Do you know what that mean? Since 19 to 20 years of age, do you know what that mean? Even though I have not committed a crime, I had a clean criminal record all my fucking entire life, you know? I might commit some more minor stuff, you know? But nothing got me to jail, you know? Because I haven't committed crime, you know, like selling drugs or do this or do that or do this or do that. I never did that, you know. So anyways, so they couldn't get me to, to commit a crime or do this or do that. Now, they have a problem that they paid too much money since I was 19, 20 years of age until the, my age right now. Because they paid mo too much money on someone who's not fucking, you know, wanted for nothing, you know. They just cannot be say, oh, we just made too much money on someone who's not mistaken for anything. And let him just live and continue his fucking life. They never did that. They cannot do that. They have to get the person onto the fucking system, you know. There's too much money has been fucking paid into this. Anyways, when they couldn't, they tried to, now they are trying to play the crazy card, you know. They tried to play this crazy card too many fucking times. Like right now, by stalking, directed energy weapons, voice to skull, all of this fucking bullshit. Just to say, oh, this, he's, this guy is crazy, you know. When they started to do that, I, like, when, after they start some time, you know, I, would, I just report them to the fucking police, uh, to, to the government, to the Norwegian government, you know. Which, of course, it didn't work, so I had to report to the fucking United Nations. Okay, it didn't work, like right now there is a, a record of my, of my case into the, the United Nations, right? But of course now the crazy card, can, they can just cannot play it. it. It just cannot be played anymore because now everything is in the open in the United Nations. You know, Every, like people start to complain about what we are going through. So they cannot, they cannot play the crazy card for long. You know, they have two, three months until the, the, the United Nations will just issue uh, officially that, okay, well, there is this thing happening, you know. So that person who just reported you, not fucking crazy, you see. So crazy card, you just cannot be played too much or anymore. So, okay, what's, what's have left 
to murder the person. Well, how to murder that person without laying a fucking finger on him? You see, they have the fucking directed energy weapons. They can just like, I don't know if they just can kill me with that or not, but I'm telling you what they are literally doing is that I am being like, if I'm walking from, from where I'm standing now to the end of the fucking street, I having people to harass, intimidate and the police and today even the police point he just put his hands on the gun and he was just looking at me directly opening the grab for the gun you see that's what what's what's the intention for doing that why would you do that why would you do that to threat me with death right so actually keep scaring someone with this you know keep scaring him oh we will gonna shoot you we're gonna kill you we're gonna do that to you we're gonna do that to your family we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna do this until the person of course you know will be hopeless and just commit suicide because he all he's on the defense all the time being threatened with kill with murdering with somebody murdering him with authority figure involved you know so this fear loop that they are just like repeating it it's more like, you know, when we just keep scaring someone with death, at some point they will lose hope and commit suicide. And that's what the government's aim for. If the person, of course, have, you know, people want to live, that's, that's natural. So what they will do, you know, they don't, nobody wants to die. So that's why you will see some people just go out there with a fucking knife and, and guns and just shoot. Because at the end of the day, you are the one who provoking the, the whole thing. The government that provoked that, or the police provokes that. You understand? So that's one part of it, of course. Now, if the person is just smoking cigarettes, if he just uh, uh, wanna eat healthy and live healthy and all of that, of course they will do their best to make that to make changes to the, that to the even person well to live, you know, well to survive. They they just. When I'm telling you, I'm being so severely tortured 24-7. It's so horrific and so not evil. You know, as, as I said before, evil is just like a, a good word for what we actually, what I'm being going through daily. But okay, so they, like, as I'm telling you, I have a heartbeat of 210 at rest while sitting on my fucking couch. Or my fi I'm fucking sitting on the bus. 210. So that means there is this fucking high directed energy weapons and with the cigarettes and with this and with this, you are just murdering someone. So actually the end goal of this operation is just to murder the person. Which gives me all the fucking rights in the world to just, you know, to, to, I don't know. I don't know what should I say now. I don't know. But it's a murder. It's, it's premeditated murder by the government and the Norwegian police. You see, why on earth would you pay that much money on someone since he was 19 and 20 years old? And he's just like, literally, I just, once I entered the embassy and I'm out, to apply for the visa and I'm out, there is fucking stalking. Which I don't know what the fuck is that, you know? At the beginning, of course, I didn't relate everything to each, to each other because... I didn't expect that there is such things that happens in our world, but apparently I was a mistake. I was, I was, I just made bad mistake, you know. I made a mistake, you know. I made big, very fucking big mistakes. I made very fucking big mistakes, man. From the moment that I entered this embassy to apply for a visa, to, to uh, what should I tell you, to even continue living there being 40 or 50 fucking thousand euro, into fucking education that I won't fucking use it in my fucking this life. What should I tell you? What should I tell you? What should I tell you? We just do all of this so that the government comes at the end of the day and just murder us. We just like, you know, work and all of that fucking bullshit so the fucking police and their fucking snitches with the fucking money will fucking kill us or murder us. Otherwise, just come tell me, oh, I, do you have done one, two, three, four? I want to, you know, normal, like, normal things, normal, uh, normal, um, normal procedure of um, accusing and all of the fucking legal process. 
But of course, you know, how did I forget? How did I forget? I'm the fucking immigrant. I'm the fucking immigrant. But we will see. We will see. We will see. Apparently, the most unlucky people in this world is the people who are from the third fucking countries. Yeah. Those are the most unlucky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? Even the Nigerian guy, he just... He went on a fucking TV telling them what they did to him and his family and all of that. T 10 fucking or 20 fucking thousand times have the Norwegian government been prosecuted on the United Nations on a fucking child abuse and a child, you know, kidnapping and all of that fucking bullshit. And yet the families are immigrants. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just don't, I just, you know, what should I tell you, man? What should I tell you? What should I tell you? But apparently, yeah, it's, 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 it's the worst thing that could happen to any person is to be from a fucking third country, a world country, and travel to Norway, you yeah? know? Because apparently, well, as I can see it at the moment, you know, before, of course, I didn't have all of this thinking process. I didn't have the, 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 the same fucking thoughts of, of this, you know. I, I just, I lived my life, you know. But what should I tell you? It's, it's, uh, liar is the fucking government who says we respect human rights. Liar are they, you know. Liars are they. Liars are they. Fucking liars. Our fucking liars. But again, you know, our government says from a third country, a third world country, <laughs> they fucking wouldn't help. You know, they just, you know, they don't give a fuck. They are basically, you know, just, you know, if you're gonna murder this guy or just do whatever the fuck you want to do to him, just do it to him. You know, we don't give a fuck. That's our fucking government. We have this government that, which is supposed to be our government. So you're like, you know, if you are from a third world country and you still experience the gang stalking and directed energy and all of that fucking bullshit. Well, if you are from a third country, just try to, to go to a fucking embassy and see how they're going to treat you. Based on a fucking Norwegian government lies. Just give it a try. Just, one, just give it one shot. See how they're fucking going to treat you. See how they're going to fucking treat you. Give it a fucking try. Give it a fucking try. Even the Nigerian guy explained and he says, well, I went to my fucking embassy and they didn't fucking help me out. So the Nigerian, the Egyptian, this and that and this and that and the Russian and this and this and this. Everybody, you know, have been through the same fucking cycle. If the fucking Norwegians says, oh, this, this one is bad, your fucking government will even fucking... <laughs> what should I tell you, man? What should I tell you? What should I tell you? Uh, at the end of the day, our fucking government selling us to the fucking pricks. What should I tell you? What should I fucking tell you? What should I fucking tell you? What should I fucking tell you? So, yeah. Don't expect if you are from a third world country. Well, don't expect much. From your embassy, don't expect much from your government, basically, because, uh, you know, the Norwegian money smells and actually looks good, so pff, don't expect too much help. Um, what a fucking waste of my fucking time on life. What a fucking waste. But again, you know, as I told you before, you know, even, you know, I, I just... You know, I just, at one point, I just thought, well, I, well, we'll see, we will see, we will see, we will see. But what I was saying is that if you are from a third world country, try to fuck, to try the fucking Russia, try to go to fucking Russia, try to end up there or North Korea. If you are from, you know, not from the USA, try North fucking Korea. Try, try Iran and see if the fucking punks are tough enough to just enter there. I promise you, man. They just, uh, what should I tell you? Yeah, it's risky, but fuck it. I mean, 
you from this side you are dead, from the other side you are dead, which side you will use? Here you are dead, here you are dead. They will not let you live in peace. They will not let you work. They will not let you, you know, do fucking something in life. So you are fucking dead. You are just living as a dead. So basically, if you go to the other side, well, you might have a chance to survive, you know. You know. But anyways, my man. Um, I'm sorry to make this fucking video long, but I'm being tortured so horrifically to the point that at some point, uh, one has to, to make a stand. One has to take a stand against the, the government, you know. At some point, somebody has to do it. Somebody has to, you know. With all their fucking money and power. Somebody has to do it, you know. So I salute to the Nigerian guy who just went out on the TV and he just, you know, told everything about them, like right in their fucking faces. Salute to him, basically. Yeah. But yeah, we will see. We will see. Hopefully for the Mauritian and the Egyptian and uh, Nigerian and Russian. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about the Russian thing. But hopefully for all those countries, well, I hope the Norwegian money is just... I hope they just really pay you that good to just stay silent about what happens to your own fucking citizens. So anyways, well, that's all. Have a good day or just have a good night. Stay safe. And if you are targeted by the Norwegians, fucking report them to a fucking United Nations.